I'm just so relieved that these people are off the street so that they aren't allowed to do this to anybody else. Heartbroken. As you can imagine, that's how one mother says she feels tonight after her son was shot and then run over last weekend in North Tulsa. She is speaking exclusively with Fox 23 as we uncover new and disturbing, really disturbing details from the federal case. Fox 23's crime and safety reporter John Sebas joins us live in the newsroom tonight where you got to look at that now unsealed affidavit this afternoon. John. The federal court documents suggest that the person who shot Jefferson had issues with Jefferson over a girl, that girl being the other suspect in this case, also a credit card and a stolen phone, all of which ultimately led to Jefferson being shot and killed. But none of those things warrant anyone being shot and killed, and that's what the victim's mother is telling us tonight. I'm sitting across from Jamie Sepulpa. My heart is broken, absolutely broken. I can't believe what they did to my beautiful baby boy. Her son, Mitchell Jefferson, was brutally killed over the weekend. That's my boy. Jamie showed me these pictures of her son. Isn't he beautiful? She's heartbroken. I wouldn't wish this pain on, my, on anyone. This is where Corey Toole and Lexis Phoenix were arrested in Sand Springs Wednesday. These are the two who police say killed Mitchell Jefferson. A now unsealed federal court affidavit says Jefferson was said to have been flirting with Phoenix, who was dating Toole. And it wasn't the only problem Toole and Jefferson were having. The affidavit says they also had been arguing over a credit card and cell phone. Mitchell uh, had an altercation with the male. Um, four or five days ahead of that and had gotten the best of, of the guy. After that, a witness came forward who told police Tool told him he was going to give Mitchell a ride. And this was basically retribution. Then on Saturday, records say Tool shot Jefferson in the back of a car. I do know they, um, they shot him behind his left ear. And Phoenix, the driver, ran over Jefferson after he fell out. He never knew what was coming and then pushed him out of the car and then ran over him. Records say the witness told police that Tool told them, I just blew his head off. After spending a few minutes with Jamie, she told me how she's been working through the loss between wanting to get revenge to ultimately letting police do their jobs and make the arrests. I'll have it together for a moment and then um, it's like a gut punch. She told me her son had fallen on some difficult times and may have been on a path that put him in harm's way. But she did tell me this is how her son would have wanted to be remembered and his death to be viewed as a way of helping others. He would have wanted me to deliver that message, I know, because he was so trying at the end to be the grown man that he was destined to be. This is obviously a very tragic story. I think one of the more tragic details in this case is that Jefferson actually survived being shot and then ran over and ultimately died in the hospital. So very difficult, uh, difficult for that family. Now, as for the suspects, they are both a part of federally recognized tribes. They are in Tulsa County Jail, but this case will be handled in federal court. Covering news that matters, John Acebus, Fox 23 News. The mother, who I also spoke with this afternoon, tells Fox 23 there will be a balloon release open to the public tomorrow. That's Friday at 6 p.m. at Braden Park. All are welcome to join and remember him.